After an extremely hearty breakfast, we were thinking that we were initially going to maybe have a nap, mm -hmm. but we then got given two cups of coffee and then we had a look at the weather and it looks like it's going to probably rain at about midday. So we figured we'd get out and do the other thing that we planned, which is to head down Love Valley. We got advised to just go on a public minibus and say we want to go to Love Valley. We got dropped off here and we hope it's the right thing. Yeah, we're not 100% sure if we're on the right trail. The lady at our hotel is so helpful mm. and she said that if we started in Garem and we would be hiking up Love Valley and end up at the main road close to Ushisar and then have to take the bus back. So that's why she advised us actually take the bus from Garem to Ushisar instead. Yep. So you hike down Love Valley, which is easier. It was 15 Turkish lira per person, so just over a dollar. Yep. And the bus driver seemed to know exactly what we were talking about and was very confident in dropping us off here. So let's hope that we are in the right place and get to see the whole of Love Valley before it starts raining. Let's see. minutes into this hike and already we're getting views just everywhere view 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 it's nuts <laughs> little bit of a confession. We have spent the best part of the last hour and a half walking down the road beside Love Valley. We've had some really good views from above but at this point we're pretty confident that we didn't go the right way because we didn't get to walk through the valley but we didn't realize this until we were over halfway down so now we have circled back to the lower portion of Love Valley and are going back up. Which is luck. clearly see why this is called Love Valley. It's made up of solid rock formations. Yeah, it's really hard not to insert an immature joke into this video about this. But if we were monetized on YouTube, we'd probably be demonetized. Pretty quickly. We've now done the inner part of Love Valley. Knowing what we do now, then realistically, if you just want to see fairy chimneys, then you really only need to do probably about half of the trail that is set out. Because at a certain point, once you go inside, then the fairy chimneys literally just run out. There's still some really cool rock formations to see if you want to do that kind of thing, but if you're just going there for the fairy chimneys and other formations that look similar to it then really it only stops at about halfway through the entire trail. How would you describe the fairy chimneys? What do they look like Nick? Appendages. Male appendages. Male appendages which are not hands or feet. I'll leave the rest to your imagination to put together. In terms of kind of what I think I would have preferred Definitely going up around the edge for the aerial shots and getting a really broad view was really, really good. 
but again with the route that you'll see on Google Maps there is just one road and with those views you get to see a bit of Love Valley but a lot of it is also just farmland so really, if you want the Love Valley experience it's better to walk through it exactly so if you want the Love Valley experience best thing to do is go into that trailhead so you go through the inside of it but obviously once you stop seeing fairy chimneys and you're not interested in seeing much else, just turn back. It's okay. It's kind of nice that you can make of it what you want. Exactly. You can choose your own adventure. But for now, I think we're both tired because we've been up since 3.45 and it is at least quarter past 11. Yep. By the time we get back to the hotel, I think it'll be close to 12 and we're going to go for a nap. Woohoo! Good morning. Good morning. We just had the most incredible breakfast at our hotel. For the second time in a row, they have served us basically what I can only really describe as a three course breakfast, which is just incredible. So you have a little bit of salad, you have some bread, you have omelets, and then this amazing thing called gazlema, which is almost like a quesadilla of sorts. It's like a very thin pancake yeah. in square shape stuffed with cheese. cheese. Yeah, like a light cheese, like a feta or something like that. And it is just lovely. So that and then all the jams and honeys and preserves that they provide as well to go with everything. And, and the like... honey is like nothing I've ever tasted before. I think because it is so natural mm -hmm. it tastes almost like nutty and brown sugary and it mixed really well with the absolutely natural greek yogurt they gave us mm. the whole breakfast it just has this homemade so natural full of good fats carbs and protein yeah probably one of the most balanced breakfasts i think i've ever had and there was always some kind of like homemade cakey thing yesterday it was like a carrot nut cake today you said like lemon raspberry yeah it was just so filling and delicious and i think that's really just telling of how well we've been treated since we checked into our hotel really because don't get me wrong like the room does feel a tad basic but the bed is the most comfortable you will ever sleep in and while the bathroom is definitely just a small wet room that works out really really well as well you just have to make sure that you're not sharing the same time as other people it's all big enough the room definitely everything is super clean mm -hmm. it's a little outdated which in the bedroom isn't really a problem yep the shower room part like it could be better but like do not let that dissuade you from staying at this place because yeah. the breakfast is five star, mm -hmm. the cleanliness, the comfort of the bed is five star. And as you mentioned, the service and the friendliness We've and been how, so care of it. yeah, it's how fantastic. helpful they are. I mean, they will arrange tours for you. They give you directions. It seems like they really take an interest in what you want to do that day and yeah. help you plan it. Yep. Yeah. It's fantastic. So if you're looking for a place to stay in Graham on the cheap, then definitely consider Attack Hotel. We will link it down below. In terms of what we're going to be doing though, we are all checked out of the hotel now. They're uh, storing our bags. Yep, because our bus isn't until quarter past midnight to get to Ankara so that we can then fly on to our next country. So in the meantime, we figured that we would go and explore another couple of valleys. So the ones that we are doing today are the Rose Valley and the Red Valley. We've seen them from afar, but it's going to be really interesting to see them up close. So let's go. to this area which looks to be 
an old house that was used once upon a time. And we were always wondering with these kinds of dwellings, like where did they sleep? How did they manage to arrange this? I think we've managed to find the answer. We think, like based on what you've got here, which is a flat surface and seemingly a little relief, which looks like it could be for a pillow, this looks like someone's bed. Churches along the trail. This is called directly Kleza, Kleza meaning church. So let's have a look inside. Well, that was amazing. It does make you think. Just with kind of everything that we've seen around this area where it's just been carved into a cliff or a rock side or something like that, like the level of thought and engineering that has to go in to make sure that something like that is livable. Because I mean, that was, that was like nothing I'd ever seen. Yeah, like it was very advanced, I feel like, for something mm. in this area in the sense that it had columns and uh, arches in the ceiling and decoration and stairs it was really cool to be able to explore it yeah and there were tons of little niches and things like that as well all of which seem to have like a good purpose to them yeah really really cool this area seems very interesting because as we're just walking through the rose valley i feel like we're seeing houses yeah there's windows and kind of little openings and things like that everywhere which implies that either it used to be livable or it was used as a building at the time. So yeah, this has proven to be a gem already. Absolutely. reached the halfway point on our hike and right behind us there is a cafe and a fruit stand as well as some gift shops. We asked the price of orange juice and it's 150 Turkish lira which is over 10 Canadian dollars. Turkish coffee is 80 lira which is over 5 Canadian dollars. For context we've seen like even in cities we've seen orange juice for maximum of about 50 lira and Turkish coffee at a maximum about 30 so they're charging like three to five times the normal price here. It's not worth it. But this is the only place here you can get anything so I understand why they are able to jack up their prices. So if you're doing this hike just make sure that you pack your own water and then whatever other drinks and food you think you're going to need. just finished our Rose Valley and Red Valley hike and I think we both agree that the first portion of the hike which is the Rose Valley as you said to quote Nick the real deal 
Absolutely. I think the the difference between the two is really that the Rose Valley one is really more above ground. So it's looking really at more scenic views, more panoramas, all of that kind of thing. Whereas with the Red Valley one, there's not many trails that leave you kind of through the hills and the mountains and all of that kind of stuff. So it ends up taking you really through the valley itself, which does give you a different perspective, but it is very overgrown and mm. kind of unkempt. So the views that you would get are significantly fewer and further between, I think. Yeah, I feel like the Red Valley is more of just a regular hike you could do in any country almost, mm -hmm. whereas the Rose Valley is like nothing I've ever seen before. No. The rocks really have this gorgeous rose color to them. Yeah. The shapes of them, like there's more of the fairy chimneys and you get these bird's eye views into the valley and you're climbing up and down the valley as well. Yeah. Whereas, as you said, the Red Valley is more just flat. You're deep down into the valley. That said, though, I mean, with the Rose Valley, obviously, it's got some absolutely otherworldly views, as I hope we have conveyed during this video. But I think there's another cool aspect to the Red Valley, which is that you do actually get to go through some caves and rock tunnels and things like that, which you wouldn't otherwise get to on most hikes that you go on. Yeah, that's very true. So, yeah, there's still something unique about both of them, but certainly our preference is more towards rose than red. I think the plan from here is to head to the supermarket, grab ourselves some lunch, then do a spot of editing, and then we might even treat ourselves to some dinner. Who knows? Since we are balling on a budget, then we are definitely looking to go for some cost-effective options. We came to this place because the menu seemed to have some cheap options as well. However, when we came to this point, then we were then told that the bakery was not open. So that meant no durum, no sandwiches, no bakmakun, which we were really hoping to do. That's basically another version of a Turkish pizza. So... We kind of had to think a little bit outside the box, but we're still going to go with some traditional stuff. So we have lentil soup, complete with bread. And then we also have some stuffed vine leaves, which are meant to have, I believe, just rice in them. So, curious about that. And then on top of that, I have heard about this one particular drink, uh, which is special for these parts, which is called Ayaban. Apparently it's like a salty yogurt drink. I have absolutely no idea how it's going to taste, but I ordered one anyway because it was cheap. Let's give it a go. Mm. Yeah, it's like a salted natural yogurt. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. We'll see how I like the grass. We just finished our last dinner in Turkey. It's so weird to think about. But it's been really nice being here. Yeah, I feel like it's gone by really quickly, but I can't wait to still move on to the next place. Me neither. No, Turkey Street as well. Uh, I've definitely enjoyed each of the places that we've gone to for different reasons. I would very happily go back to Istanbul if anybody were to invite me, just to say as much. But, um, but no, super pumped for uh, the next country. Yeah, my favorite have been Istanbul, Ephesus, and of course here in Cappadocia. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, and the hot Evelyn life was unforgettable. It's fantastic. But for now, we just have a few more hours to kill before our overnight bus. Yep. And then we'll be on our way to Ankara Airport. Yeah, it's uh, going to be a surprisingly epic travel day ahead. So if you're interested, then feel free to tune in. Until next time, though, take care. And keep smiling. <laughs>